Welcome back guys. In this video I'm going to cover everything about grenades in Player Unknown's Battlegrounds. This will include how each grenade actually works, when to use each grenade optimally, and some secret tips. I feel like a lot of people pick up grenades, but when they get into a fight, grenades are forgotten and widely underused, and having some more clarity will make people use them more and make them a better player. By default, pressing the 5 key will pull out the first grenade you have, and pushing your grenade key again will cycle through the different types of grenades you have in your inventory. That being the Frag, Stun, Smoke, and Molotov. First off, it's important to note how far you can throw a grenade. Aiming at about a 45 degree angle in the sky will allow you to throw a grenade at the furthest possible distance. After hitting the ground, the frag grenade will roll a few meters and explode with a 3 meter explosion radius, marking the ground for a few seconds with a black circle. As you can see from where I was standing at the edge of the bridge to where the grenade exploded, your range for throwing grenades while standing is 55 meters, and for reference, your range for throwing grenades while prone is 45 meters. A well-placed frag grenade will blow doors completely off, exposing those inside and allow you to shoot freely inside buildings. Similarly, a frag grenade will kill you if you're within its blast radius regardless of the armor you are wearing. All grenades will explode exactly 5 seconds after the pin is pulled, and when throwing the grenade standing on level ground, it will travel in the air for about 3.5 seconds, so waiting about 1 to 1.5 seconds with the pin pulled in your hand before throwing will allow the grenade to explode immediately as it lands, not giving your opponent a chance to avoid the grenade. The stun grenade provides great utility both for offensive and defensive maneuvers in player unknowns battlegrounds. I would say most often it is used to advance on enemies and blind them before charging in, but don't forget how important positioning is in this game, and it may be just as useful to distract someone so you can get a key position to secure a win. The stun grenade does have its downfalls, as the grenade must be in close proximity and in front of the enemy in order to blind them, but it only has to be in their proximity to impair their hearing. As you can see here, if the grenade is right beside me, or if you are standing right on top of it, you will not receive the blind. Now, I do not recommend throwing stun grenades at the angle to give you the most distance. For some reason, stun grenades bounce a lot right now, as you can see here it hits the ground and then explodes about 10 meters up in the air. Smoke grenades give you the ability to break line of sight with your enemy, which is always a good thing. You can use them either to cover yourself so that you can move, or from cover you can throw them somewhere in an opposite direction to make your enemy look elsewhere while you move. Smoke grenades will usually rotate on the ground about 40 degrees once they start to release smoke, but this is a little inconsistent. You should know that if you need to use smoke to cross a road, smoke grenades get stuck on the road and will usually rotate vertically instead of horizontally, and either pour smoke straight up into the air or down into the ground, neither of which are very helpful. The Molotov while a slightly more rare of a find than the other three grenades, it is the absolute best at forcing someone to leave their current position and give you a better angle. The Molotov will explode upon impact and leave a pool of fire which will burn for 10 seconds. Walking into the pool of fire and stepping out will cause the player to catch on fire and take a small amount of damage every second, similar to the damage of the second blue circle. Staying in the pool of fire takes a high amount of damage and will kill you in a matter of seconds. My first secret tip is the grenade jump. I'm sure everyone has seen someone who was near a grenade and rather than instantly killing them, they were launched across the terrain and may or may not have been killed. It seems that this happens to people who are wearing a pan and have their back to a grenade. They will take some of the damage but most of the blast will be focused on thrusting the player. I'm sure there are many cool applications where this can be used. My other tip is that all grenades can be thrown underhand. Hold left click to pull out the pin on the grenade, and then also hold down the right click, and you will see your character change the way they are holding the grenade. Releasing the left click will then cause your player to underhand toss the grenade, so you can more precisely place grenades in close range. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video and you want to support me, don't forget to subscribe for more videos, and let me know what you thought in the comments below. See you guys next time.